Welcome back to another episode of Fish Slash Hunting. So, um, y'all are fixing to see us skin this, but first y'all are going to see us catch this big monster. And I'll see y'all when we get skinning it. He's coming up, he's coming up, coming up. There he is. Oh. Well, how well he's hooked. Oh, he is not hooked very well. I'm fixing to make a boat flip. There we go. Holy crap. Battery's about to die. Sir? Camera's about to die. Alright. Here we go. I'm keeping that son of a gun. Because gar are good to eat. No. I don't care what people tell you, they're good to eat. They pick this son of a gun. It's the biggest gar I've ever gotten to the boat. We've seen one. Huge one. And we got one huge one that I hooked up into that was a little bit bigger than this one, not much bigger though, um, that he came off. And then I shot at one about this size, bow fishing. But we got this one on a drop line. It's gonna be a little catch and cook um, challenge. I love guard to eat their food. They're good eating, but cut him up. It's gonna be a little catch and cook challenge. Yeah. Ooh, biggest guard gotten into the boat. Alrighty, well we're about to skin it. We're using some hedge trimmers. Um, and if y'all are going to try to skin a guard by yourselves, make sure you wear gloves. Leather ones work the best. And also do not try to clip them in uh, with fish grips. Don't try to clip them in the top of the mouth because I have a big, big Spot on my leg, I'll show y'all after the video. Okay, so we're just taking these and cutting it right in front of that head, right behind the head. Now we cut it. We cut it right here. We cut it right here. Yes, all this meat, though. That was a good cut. We start at the very end where the belly is. We just go all the way up here. Okay. I'm gonna get it from the end. Oh. I'm gonna get this meat out and okay. So that came out from that on uh, that meat. And anyway, um I'm gonna show I'll show y'all when we get done with it with this and we start skinning I and mean, when we start cooking it. Alrighty, well we're fixing to cook this gar. Got a nice big bowl of some of the meat. The rest of it we froze. But anyway, it's a nice good piece right there. And we've already got our fish fry and stuff in. We used Louisiana 
um, fish fry, seasoned crispy fish fry. Um, we pour half, uh, we pour a little bit in there, and then we pour this about the same amount of cornmeal in there too. And then we just mix it all up together, but we are we did that off camera. And then, yeah, just putting a little bit of corn, I mean, that fish fry on here. We're cooking it in an air fryer. But anyway, just lay it down in there. Get another piece. Let's do the same thing with it. Just yeah, that's real simple. I'm gonna do four pieces that way. Y'all can see. That way I know how good it really is. later not on camera though but anyway I'll check on in with y'all when they're done. Alrighty well let's get this going around in the air fryer. Okay there it is I'm gonna get me a plate. Okay get this out on it. Oh yeah I can see that very well, but some nice white meat. And there it's nice and crispy and flaky. I'm going to try me this piece real quick. That's good. Really good. We're going to be doing a catfish catching and cook in a, one of our later videos from this weekend. But anyway, I just want to um, thank y'all for watching. And I'm going to eat this last piece before um, this video ends with that piece. Mm. It's got a really good texture. This fish does. A scar. Mm. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.